It's amazing how if you're in pain, people wish they could do without. Without fear, would you know hope? Would you know resilience? Without pain, would you know love? Would you know joy? Things need to be broken to be fixed. Things need to be broken in order to be reshaped. Through the fire, out of the ash, the phoenix is born. Through the abuse and shards, a new person is born. It's amazing how strength comes from the pressure to break. I'm talking four steps forward, two steps back, and the light at the end of the tunnel is no bigger than a candle flicker at the end of a football field. Yet with scarred feet and weary eyes, you continue to move forward. Pressure like the weight of the world on your chest and your struggle to inhale as society suffocates the thoughts of our youth. Have you ever seen glass fracture? A small, a small crack can spread a web out of control and you refuse to touch your reflection in fear. People will see you bleed. You just listen in silence. At the sound of your heart pumping blood straight into your ears, sounding all too familiar like the rushing waters you try and keep your head above and you realize you've been holding your breath. Afraid to exhale out of the fear that tragedy will continue to suck the life out of you, and you have just learned how precious it is. Standing at a fork in the road, your racing mind tells you to run. Run through the darkness, you aren't supposed to be here, wedged between past faults and future dreams. But your heart, your heart says walk slow. Feel the thorns beneath your toes and keep your eyes open for the most beautiful roles. No one makes it out of a war, unscraped, unscarred, or untouched. Like the swirls on your fingertips, no one's life journey is the same, and everyone goes through pain, but is all pain truly the same? Does everyone hear the screams inside, the tears you've cried, and the times you've lied? Does everyone feel the need to run, the need to bleed? Does everyone know the struggle to be seen? Standing there in the bathroom mirror, you blaze at your pupils and watch them become pupils as they learn the most horrifying details about you. They are the first to see the flaws and the last to see the strengths that lie within you. No one has 20-20 vision when it comes to themselves, we tend to be nearsighted. Relying on the retina of others as a mirror, you see your potential, you see the damage, you see your soul cracked, dry like the desert ground, unable to support life lacking the nutrients needed to bring any dream into fruition, starved with self-hate and lack of faith, unable to unstable. Every time the wind blows, the top layer blows away. Every time the rain comes, it washes more of you away. You are so broken, so broken. You are broken like a puzzle. Everything you need to be whole can be found in a box, but like everything worthwhile, it will take time. You need a foundation. Only a fool builds his house upon the sand. You need to teach the pupils looking at you from within your face to forgive. Forgive every time he made a mistake. Forgive every time she lied. Forgive every time he touched you. And forgive every time they took their own lives. As those pieces of the world crumble away, your rib cage expands as you inhale, allowing your body the first good nourishment since deciding to end your own life. Don't stop. Let the raging waters that threaten to swallow you become still and exhale without fear. Life is precious and we have only begun to live and we have only been given this one. So feel everything to the fullest. Cry every tear, harness every fear, and enjoy every year. Accept this truth. No one is strong enough to never ever be broken and love this truth. And the tragedy that surrounds you and the tragedy that surrounds life, seeds are planted and battles are won. Like the evergreen that grows from the wildfire, it takes the faith of a mustard seed and mountains will fall to their knees. They clasp their hands and recite, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Strength is power. What else could be used to describe those who survived being shattered like iPhone glass, being torn apart by the seams and left for vultures, left broken? This state of being is inevitable, but this state of living is not. So know with your two steps forward, with your four steps forward and two steps back, the light at the end of the tunnel seemingly no bigger than a candle flicker across the football field, you're two steps closer than you once were. Two steps closer to healing, two steps closer to forgiving, two steps forward to peace that would never be possible had you never been broken.